Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at header files. Header files are used to help us define function prototypes and other shared items in a file so that we can bring that into our source code. Uh, it creates an easier way for us to share and reuse our code and it is one of the ways in which we facilitate breaking down larger programs into smaller items. Header files are during the compilation process, uh, they are uh, first looked at by the preprocessor, and the preprocessor does um, certain manipulations based on the types of preprocessor directives that we use inside the header files. So we'll take a little bit more about what that means um, uh, shortly. And they also help us, uh, the programmer, hide implementation details in code because we can put function prototypes like we learned in the functions video we can put prototypes in header files and not expose the body of the function all right so here is a simple header file it's called simple underbar math dot h header files end with a dot h extension that's just the uh, standard convention and so inside this header file, I actually have three different function prototypes. I have one for add, I have one for subtract, and I have one for multiply. And you notice that all of the signatures for the functions are the same, they just have different names. So now when we use a header file, we typically have a corresponding C++ file, a .cpp file. So in this case, I have one called simple underbar math .cpp. So the important thing to do is you actually have to include the contents of your header file. And you'll notice that we use a little different syntax than we do for things like IOStream. You'll see that we have quotes instead of angle brackets around the header file name. And what that does is that just, just uh, controls the lookup path. Um, there are two paths, or there are two ways in which the uh, preprocessor will look up header files and using the angle brackets searches through all your system uh, system paths first whereas if you use quotations it searches through all your local user uh, paths first so anyways so when you have local <laughs> header files in your header file in your in your project you'll use uh, double quotes so we have pan include uh, simple math dot h and then we have the functions completely defined below that and so each of the functions gets implemented below. And so that's what our C++ file looks like for a matching simple, uh, or for a matching header file. All right, so how do we use those functions that we have now defined and we have implemented in our program? So that in our main C++ file, main CPP, we include the IO stream so we can do some output. Then we include the simple math.h file. And we do that because we need to know about the add function that we want to call in this code. So if you look down in our int main, uh, we output the answer to 4 plus 2 using the add function. So we need to include the header file so that we can get the function prototype for add included into our code. So now you might accidentally do this inadvertently. You might add multiple header files into your code file at once. And so you might think that that's just okay. And that C++ will realize, hey, um, you already included this header file, so that's okay. We just won't do it again. Well, that's not the case. What this literally tells the preprocessor to do uh, when you do your compile of your code, it tells the preprocessor to inject the entire contents of the simple underbar math.h file into your file and into your main CPP file and so it's going to do that twice and so what you're going to end up with is something that actually looks like this um, I left the pound include IO stream just because that thing is really huge and we don't need to really include that um, but you'll see that we actually have the header file injected twice and so that's a bad thing because in C++ you can't have two functions with the exact same signature you can have functions with the same name with different uh, different parameters, but you can't have the exact same one multiple times. And so this is actually going to give you a compile error. And so there are some ways to fix that. Obviously, the first one is don't uh, include the header file multiple times. But in a more complicated program, uh, it's easy to actually include multiple pieces of 
or multiple header files at once, and especially if you wanted to do output in one file. Um, let's say like our in our uh, simple math.cpp file, we actually wanted to include the IO stream. Well, we include the simple math in our main CPP, and so now we have two places that are going to be including the IO stream, and that's going to conflict. So how do we solve that problem? So this is what it looked like, and this is how we solve it. And this is called um, header guard includes. It's a strategy of using certain preprocessor commands to ensure that your header file code doesn't get injected multiple times. And so if you remember back to our decision making video where we talked about if if statements, well there's a similar semantic inside the preprocessor. And that's called pound if def and pound n or if n def. And so pound if def is essentially saying if defined and then you can pass in uh, a symbol name that is that you just define and the pound if def says oh if this is defined the pound if n def says if this is not defined so what this header file is saying is if the symbol underbar symbol underbar math underbar h underbar is not defined the very next line is a preprocessor directive to define that symbol so that when you include this file into into another code file this symbol will get defined and then we add the three lines of code that are our function prototypes our add subtract and multiply functions and then we do a pound end if to close off our pound if end if and so each one of these pounds are preprocessor directives they are special commands that the preprocessor ha preprocessor handles and so this will actually protect us from adding that those three function prototypes in multiple times because the next time that this file gets encountered in the same code file the symbol math under our h uh, symbol will already be defined and so that's basically header files um, I hope that all made sense I uh, should definitely go play with some of this try adding those in, try changing the symbol names. Uh, they they are case sensitive. So remember that C is case sensitive. I don't know if I've actually ever explicitly said that. But C is a case sensitive language. Um, and so the symbols need to match exactly. And so I just use underbars as a convention. You can use how, whatever name you want to as long as that name is the same. Um, so yeah, go play around with it and see if you can make use of some header files, add them into your project, and give that a go. So with that, thanks.